Okay, here we are on the uh, first day of bird season out here patrolling a recent harvest on the University of Maine property, which we recently acquired. In Maine, we call this Cast and Blast Weekend, a new addition to our sporting calendar where we can both hunt and fish in the same weekend. The open water fishing season for some species closes Sunday, so they opened up the uh, bird season uh, the last Saturday of September. So here we are. We've yet to see a bird out here in this uh, harvest block, but it's been an interesting walkthrough. The uh, students did a management plan the last year I was teaching in the capstone class for this property, and we walked it before it was harvested. And we're in an area that was very heavy to uh, aspen uh, with other hardwood species primarily, and you, you'll we'll talk about that. So Keith Canote, our forest manager, uh, prescribed essentially uh, an asp, a clear cut of all of the aspen leaving reserves of all the oak trees and occasional pines that were in the stand. Um, and so you see what you're seeing, this was cut last winter. It appears that uh, the system was a feller buncher uh, processing in the trail with a processor, delimmer of some kind, and then forwarding to a landing off site here. Let's see, so the so you see this aspen regeneration is one year old. Uh, now, what another interesting thing about this uh, uh, prescription is that what we're also seeing is lots of oak seedlings. I think most of these are seedling sprouts from small advanced regeneration that is either run over in the harvest or just uh, uh, now has been released by the harvest of mostly the aspen. There are some new seedlings. Last fall was also an acorn crop. So this essentially has served as a release cutting uh, for the oak uh, advanced regeneration. So we're gonna have a nice mixed species stand here of, uh, I think this is mostly big tooth aspen. It looks, appears to be so. Um, some quaking, which will, eat, of course, get right ahead of this oak. Um, but the oak will probably live underneath it. This will, uh, yes, so the, so what we call this, this is, I guess, the correct uh, term for this silviculturally would be a coppice, which is the regeneration method, you know, promoting aspen root suckers throughout the block with reserves, the reserves being primarily oak trees. The fact that we have oak seedlings, uh, you know, you could say, well, why isn't this an oak seed tree? An oak seed tree would be leaving a condition like this, expecting the oak to seed in afterwards which would be an illusion. That's not really going to happen. What's going to happen here, of course, is this aspen will immediately develop in about three or four years into a stem exclusion condition, and there'll be no more uh, room for new seedlings to become established. So the only oak that's going to be here would be advanced growth or germinants, maybe, uh, prior to the harvest. So interesting prescription, Some, the kind of thing that we don't do that often here on our forest properties, but one I think is very appropriate for this condition. It's you know perfect wildlife management because you not only have this new bird cover and aspen growing up, which will eventually become a valuable aspen stand, as well as all kinds of mass trees, which will uh, survive and, and uh, flourish. These oak, I aged one oak tree that was cut. This is about a 90 year old stand, probably heavily cut, you know, when would that have been, a 1930 or something like that, you know, back in the beginning of the depression era. And very even aged, and the aspen, of course, was ready to go, it was declining. If you look around the block here, you'll see in the tan, uh, lots of birch snags. I don't think much of the white birch here was alive, so all the more reason that it, the harvest here was both, mostly overdue. Um, another interesting feature is, if, is to notice that the, these oaks have been exposed completely for a year now, at one growing season at least, uh, and I haven't seen a single epicormic branch on any of them, which is I find interesting. Maybe they will develop in the future, but I don't think so. Um, Pine was also left. There may be a few pine seed in out here. There'll be white birch, there'll be raspberry, but most of the next crop here will be aspen growing up amongst these oak reserves. So we've gone from an even aged stand, originating 90 years ago, to now a two aged stand, um, where the aspen in the openings will grow very well or underneath the oak trees. I'm sure it will die out and we'll have this uh, really nice sort of two height structure for a long period of time. 
The oak, I suspect, and of course we can manage to release it, you know, down the road with brush saw thinning and so forth if we get a good recruitment here, which is apparently art we are getting. The other thing, final thing I'd say is that uh, the, this, this cut is big enough. Again, this is the kind of thing we don't usually open up. Uh, so this is maybe, what, 30 acres here, 20, 30 acres. Um, the deer probably won't go into the middle of this in the winter nearly as much, and so that might, some of the oak might escape browsing more than it would otherwise. Uh, we do have moose here as well. They moose might uh, begin to browse on this aspen, but there'll be plenty of it. You can see in the in the uh, video, um, it's some, much of it's already six feet tall. This is pretty good soil. We're up on a knoll here. This is uh, probably a brig site two or three, well drained, and uh, uh, should be growing a nice mixed species for us. Okay.